Hey guys, it's Peter Fry, and welcome to the Living with Hope podcast, a daily devotional where we dig into God's Word and explore what it means to live with hope in Jesus. We're journeying through the season of Advent, focusing on some themes of Christ's coming. And as we do that, one of these themes is peace. The angels proclaim to the shepherds in the field there in Luke chapter 2, glory to God in the highest and peace on earth, goodwill toward men. We often view the Christmas season as full of positivity and joy. We sing carols like, joy to the world, peace on earth, God rest ye merry gentlemen. But for many of us, the season is filled with a whole nother range of emotions. There's stress, there's grief, there's anxiety, and even fear. There's the dynamics of family, the burdens of finances, the absence of loved ones, and even uncertainty about the future. And the holidays often become something that we dread rather than looking forward to. We often try not to play the Scrooge by suppressing these emotions, trying to hide our worries beneath the busyness and the buying and the festivities and the feasting. We celebrate Advent with smiles on our faces, all the while ignoring the turmoil in our hearts. But the season of Advent is not about forgetting about our fears and focusing on Christ's coming. No, Advent is about Christ entering our world of unpleasant emotions, about Him taking our anxieties, burdens, and fears upon Himself. It says in Philippians chapter 4, verses 6 and 7, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The Apostle Paul encourages us not to be anxious about anything, but instead bring everything to God in prayer. I used to find this passage of scripture uh, kind of trite, almost as if it was a super simplistic Christianese of as if prayer was this magical utterance that made our worries lift off our shoulders, and that wasn't always the experience for me. But Paul isn't teaching us that prayer is the answer to anything that makes us anxious. Rather, he's teaching us that the peace of God in Christ Jesus reaches into every part of our lives, including our anxiety. You see, prayer is a means by which we allow God's peace to rule in our hearts. Years ago, I was walking through a season of grief, and I entered a, a worship service where the worship leader was, I, I know that he was super well-meaning when he said this, but he said, uh, I want you to just leave your worries and your burdens at the door today as you come and worship God. And I remember standing there in that worship service thinking, I cannot do that. I can't just turn off my worries and my anxieties and the raw emotions that I'm walking through in this world, but rather I have to bring them into this worship service. And I think the Psalms are especially helpful for us in seeing this raw honesty before God with the emotions of living in a broken world, of walking in a world that is full of darkness. And as we, as believers in Jesus, walk through these emotions, we don't just leave them at the door, we bring them to Jesus. And that's the invitation of God here in Philippians chapter 4. That the peace of Christ, that peace is found in a person, in the birth of a Savior, who came and entered our painful reality, this world of darkness, and He came as light. 
And as that light fills the darkness of our lives, we don't just leave our burdens at the door. We bring them to Jesus because he knows our pain. He knows our anxieties. He knows the grief of walking in this world because he's been there. And this is the message of Advent. It isn't about being uh, more positive, about seeing the world with this optimistic rose-colored glasses. It's about seeing the world in light of Christ who entered our suffering, who entered our pain, who walked through grief and came to bring us peace. And so today, in this season of Advent, my invitation for you is don't leave your troubles at the door. Bring them to Jesus so that in everything, by prayer and supplication, as we make our requests known to God and hand our burdens to Him, that we can know and experience the peace of God that transcends all understanding. And I want you to hear this, that peace isn't just this feeling of feeling positive or that all is right in the world, but peace is a person and His name is Jesus. And Jesus came at Christmas to a world full of turmoil, and he came proclaiming peace to people who had real fears, burdens, and pains. And today, he welcomes us into his presence to be honest and let our requests be made known to him in prayer. And God promises us his peace, a peace that guards our hearts and minds even when life doesn't make sense. And so during Advent, we look forward to the day when Christ will establish his perfect rule on the earth. But until that day, may we allow him to establish his perfect peace in us. So don't leave your troubles behind as we journey to the manger this Advent season. Bring them to our Savior. And that is why he came. He came to bring us peace.